today is my first day back from PTO. Hopefully that gives you guys a better idea of what admin work is. Every company has annual reviews. My name is Jenna. I film a lot of productivity, lifestyle, bullet journal videos and vlogs, so if you want to hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Welcome to a work from home day in my life for you guys. I know it's not Wednesday if you're watching this on the day that I'm uploading, but today itself is Wednesday at least, so <laughs> happy Wednesday, but if you're watching this on the day of premiere, happy Friday. Today is my first day back from PTO and I haven't worked since Thursday. Of last week so you can imagine how anxious I am to go back to work today and I actually have a lot of stuff to do today so I thought it would be good for me to bring you guys along and hold myself accountable hold myself accountable for the stuff that I have to do and make sure I get everything done and hopefully ease my anxieties throughout the day because I'm hanging out with you guys so I have no idea what I'm going to talk about at lunch with you guys I have literally no idea how my day is going to be in terms of meetings and everything I have a pretty open day in terms of meetings I'm looking at my calendar right now but I know that will change and I'm going to have some like impromptu meetings and stuff so we're just gonna see how this goes today. <laughs> it's currently eight o'clock and I just logged on, I refilled my water. I wanted to log on extra early today because I just wanna make sure I kind of have, especially because I'm vlogging, I just wanna make sure that I'm in control of today because on your first day back from PTO, I think that's kind of one of the only things you can do is just be in control as possible of your day. And hopefully the day will go well. <laughs> I have a good amount of time until my 9 a.m. check-in. I need to get my quote for that because there's no new shout-outs. And yeah, that's that's today. Happy Wednesday, guys. The first day back from PTO is always a little hard. I'm going to just kind of like check through my emails and I have a lot of emails from like this weekend and yesterday. So I'm gonna check in on those and then I'm gonna make my to-do list with you guys. And then let's get started with our work from home day. Okay guys, here is the quote that I chose for today. It's by Winston Churchill and it says, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. And I have no reason why I chose it. I just really liked it. It spoke to me today and that's what I'm saying this morning on the call. It is around 8.58, 8.59, so my meeting's about to start, but as the meeting starts though, Wednesdays are usually longer ones, so I'm going to write down my to-do list, my schedule and everything during that meeting, so you guys will see that, and I'll talk to you guys afterwards. None of them can shine as bright as you do. They can't compare to your life. Thousands of Happy Wednesday. There are no new shout outs today, but this quote today is by Winston Churchill and I liked it for almost no reason. It just kind of spoke to me this morning. It says, Okay, hi guys, it's around 9.20 and our check-in meeting just ended. I also drafted an email for EE during 
that meeting so I just sent that out as well but let me show you guys what's on the agenda and to-do list today okay we just had our check-in meeting and then we have an engagement experience meeting from 10 to 11 for those of you who are new here engagement experience is one of my internal initiatives and it's focused on how to improve our engagement within our team especially virtually now it's a separate thing that I do outside of my project work that's like an internal project so I have a meeting for that from 10 to 11, but that probably will end early. And then I have an admin meeting at 11.30. And I think I actually haven't addressed what like admin stuff is. So maybe I'll talk to you guys about that at lunch today if I do have a lunch break. But but yeah, it's really just a matter of like scheduling for everybody in our practice. That's, that's it for our schedule today. And then for our to-do list. I have two projects that I'm focusing on today. There's one that I just need to send an email out because I'm still waiting for some reviews to be done, but I just wanna check in and let my team member know that like I'm here. And then I have a check-in for project number two. This is a project that I was working on last week. So now that it's a new week and I'm back from PTO, I can help with that and QC just means quality check. And then I wanna start my annual evaluations because I have to do that this week and then I left this EE in case I have any work after my 10 a.m. meeting. That's kind of what we have right now. Another thing I can add actually is fun committee. We're planning a happy hour at the end of the week, so I just kind of want to make sure that all of the bows are tied and that everything's all ready for that. So I sent an email out, but I'm going to hopefully easily check this off at the end of the day as well as this. And yeah, just a bunch of project work. Since I don't have many meetings, I can devote a good chunk of my day to my project work. And this is what we have so far today, but you know, it's the beginning of the day. So we'll see how this unfolds. Okay. I'm going to get some emails done and get started on my work. Well, I can. I basically just really need to check in with all my team members and say like, hey, I'm back from PTO. <laughs> what can I do to help you? So I'm going to get started on that and yeah, write emails like I said, and I'll check in with you guys probably after my EE meeting at around like 1030 or 11. So talk to you guys then. Look at how beautiful it is. That is beautiful. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I feel good. I had an espresso shot like really, really early in the morning because I was editing a YouTube video for you guys but I kind of want another cup of coffee. Maybe I'll make tea because I'm really not trying to have more than one cup of caffeine. But I really just might today because it's Wednesday and I, you know, and it's sleep that much. Talk to you guys soon, I'm rambling. Yes, we do have some updates for mentorship, but we got some really good feedback on our work-life balance panel and It's 10.30 now, so my meeting ended pretty early and there's some pretty good stuff coming up for engagement experience. We're gonna do a work-life balance panel just because the interns are starting, I think, next week. So, I don't know, we just thought it was a good idea to have a work-life balance panel for them so that they can get an idea of what work-life balance is like in a corporate world and especially in a virtual corporate world too. So, that's probably gonna happen sometime in July. And yeah, that's just our team meeting update on engagement experience related things. And then I did make a meeting for a friend committee also right after the meeting ended to just make sure we have everything ready for the happy hour on Friday. It's going to be an outdoor happy hour and it's completely optional, but we're just gonna offer it to anybody that would like to come and it will remain socially distanced and everything. So, so now I really just have to do my project work. I wanna do some more things for project number one. I'll add that. I just wanna review everything because it's been a couple of days since I've looked at stuff. And yeah, this is where we are right now. We had a pretty good morning. It might be a little bit quiet here on my end. I still have some emails to send out and stuff, so I want to stay busy and like continue to catch up on everything that I've missed. And just from the long weekend, I feel like I like, don't even remember what I do anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to change my laundry and get back to work, but happy Wednesday. It's a good Wednesday so far. Well, it's only 10.30, but <laughs> okay.
was in New York this weekend and it was like, I was supposed to like go to the beach and the park with my friend who lives in Long Island and like there's not much to do there otherwise. So we just like stayed in the whole weekend, but we just, we ate really good food, so. <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. Um, the methodology was pretty easy to follow last time, so. Hey everyone, uh, thanks for, for joining. Okay, hi guys. It is 12 o'clock now and I just got out of my two meetings I had. I don't think I even updated you guys, but it ended up being more on the last minute side, but I had a meeting for project number two. So my second client that I'm working on today. And it was basically just like an overview of the QC or quality check task that I'll be doing. And then I started that. And then I had my admin meeting where it was really just a discussion about like scheduling and stuff. So, so yeah, that's, that's all you missed. And now it's lunchtime. I actually have like no food, so I kind of have no idea what I'm gonna make, but I went on the way and now it's lunchtime. I also made burdock tea. I've talked about it a couple of times now, but overall it's just really good for your digestive system and your blood health and your gut health. So I had that, no caffeine, but let's just see how I do in the afternoon, but I'm hungry, let's make food. Okay, I'm just gonna make a regular breakfast, but I don't have any bread or anything. So I'm just gonna make like, I'm just gonna use two eggs and bacon and tomatoes. I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the steak Cause I got it like that, always have my own bag Never needed no man to rely on Got two good shoulders to cry on I was alright on my own Till I fell but it wasn't fake And I couldn't tell at the time But I was my own soulmate It's like I forgot I was fine Let you treat me any kind of way Now I'm free, you gotta celebrate You couldn't see everything and stay Glad that I wasn't afraid to say Yeah, if I gotta choose me I won't be afraid Okay guys, here is lunch today. I did my best. I tried to eat a little bit more since I don't have any carbs or anything, but I think I'm just gonna have a snack later because I have some chips. But anyways, breakfast today is two pieces of uncured turkey bacon, two eggs with some salsa, and then some pan fried grape tomatoes. You guys know how it is. So quickly for lunch today, I, I need to prep my video and I like need to do that, so. Pretty good. Ooh, it's hot salsa. <laughs> For today's lunch chat, I wanted to talk to you guys about admin work. I think this is like the last thing in regards to like everything I talk about at work that maybe you guys don't know, but for those of you who are new, I'm a government contracts consultant working at an accounting firm in the Tyson's DC area. So I work in consulting, I work in accounting and finance consulting, but more or less my clients are contractors usually either they have a contract with the federal government that they're trying to open or they're currently in the process of having a contract or they're trying to close a contract so that's my job but i do work in corporate and i do work in consulting when i say admin work that really just means like the administrative side of being a consultant so you have your clients and you have your internal initiatives but when you're a consultant, you have to enter your time and you have to you have to think about how many hours or minutes are you putting into each client that you are working on if you're working on in more than one or how much time are you putting into your internal initiatives if you have any. And aside from that, it's a lot of scheduling too. You know, I'm a consultant, but the projects don't come out of nowhere. They're scheduled to me. And when my company receives these clients, they need to be scheduled to a consultant in order to work on them. And so when I mean admin work, I mean I mean a bunch of that stuff, like scheduling and emails and time entry. And if you do work in a corporation or a larger corporation, that is, there's a contract between my company, the consulting company, and the contractor, the company that has the contract with the government. So when I mean admin work, that also means budgeting and making sure that the amount of time I'm working on my projects is in budget with what the company has agreed for with the contractor, if that makes sense. 
That's why I like consulting and I think it's cool because you can see all different aspects of a professional career. It's a lot of communication based, a lot of teamwork, a lot of detail orientation, but also just a lot of project management and budgeting and, and yeah. In consulting, there's a lot of different areas to consulting and there's a lot of different areas to my job, especially when you're working in consulting for a larger company. So yeah, there's project work, there's internal work, and there's admin work. So hopefully that gives you guys a better idea of what admin work is. It's it really is just a bunch of scheduling and budgeting and time entry. I don't think you have to learn consulting to do admin work and it's just another reason why I like consulting because I feel like I'm developing myself in so many different areas, not just in one technical way, but in, in a lot of other ways too. I hope that clears it up for you guys when, when I say admin work and stuff like that. It's honestly public knowledge if, if you think about it. Like um, I work for a company and companies don't just work with other companies based off of your word. <laughs> if you're working with corporations, there need to be contracts. I'm gonna get back to work. Well, I'm gonna finish my lunch. I'm gonna get back to work and I'll talk to you guys. I think I'm done with meetings today, so I just have the rest of the afternoon to strictly work, which I really need. So I will talk to you guys in a little bit, but I'm really missing my bread and my carbs today. Also, is anybody else like me and the moment that they finish their meal, they need dessert? <laughs> You guys know that I love these Lily's peanut butter cups. They're 70% they're cocoa, stevia sweetened, dark chocolate peanut butter cups. And these are literally the best things ever. your weekend it was good yeah no. besides the weather it was good i know it was just just ask questions to your friends okay I'm gonna go on away actually because I need to do my dishes and put my sheets on my bed my be I can't look at my bed but it's a good reason to stand up and and it's important to get to small stopping points so that you can take your breaks as you need to and I even logged on early this morning you guys I can take this break Let's wash our dishes and make my bed and then maybe make a snack. And I really want coffee. I'm gonna make coffee. Oh <laughs> well. I guess that's why they call them trust issues. Cause I never never had them before I met you. So scared you bring my heart. I've never been a girl who is paranoid. Got feelings that I can't avoid. Don't know where I got them. I guess that's why they call them trust. Five minutes to prepare my video because all I have to do is the music links my battery's gonna die but that was a nice stretch break and I'm gonna prepare my video because I have everything already pre-made except for the description box so I need to do that quickly and then set it on premiere for you guys and uh, it's not a work from home vlog and I feel really bad but I don't know. I should post what I want to post and I wanted to post a June plan with me and I didn't even work yesterday because I was on PTO so I'm trying not to feel, I'm trying not to feel that bad but I do feel bad. My video is all done and it is around 1.45. I think I'm gonna have a review meeting at the end of the day or towards the end of the day once I finish this stuff, but it's almost done. I'm basically just, I mean, I did it. I just need to like review it so that when I review it with my team member, I know what I'm saying. Now I've checked my work almost. So there's that. And then that will be done. At least I cleaned up. I did not, 
I did not make my bed because you guys saw that. I took my sheets out, but you know when you know when your sheets just get all tumbled up in the laundry and then it's not even dry, like only the outside part is. So it's finishing up drying and I'll probably get to that after work. But at least I did my dishes. I'll check in with you guys at around four o'clock for my last home stretch of the day, but yeah, that's what that's what we're doing this Do Wednesday. Think about Okay, <clears throat> so I did the calculations for the QC. Can you guys hear me okay? Hi guys, it is 4.09 right now, it's 4.10, and I think the last time I talked to you guys, I was, feels really good to see it. But I think last time I talked to you guys, I was in a call. So I ended up regrouping about my second client after I was done the QC stuff. So I don't even think I crossed it off with you guys, but here's where we're at. We got our QC stuff done and I basically was just checking over work from another project. That's what QC is. That's what quality checks are for to make sure that everything's consistent. So I finished that and then I got some extra work after that QC to QC some other things. So I did that as well and I got all that done and now it's four. So I'm on a roll. I feel like I haven't been talking to you guys much, but honestly, I've just been on a roll because I haven't worked in a good couple of days. So not that like I was inching to work, but that's the point of PTO to feel like refreshed and like ready to get back to work. So that's kind of what happened. And I just pinged my friend to go over the work that I just did. I think I'm going to save my project number one review to do tomorrow morning before my regroup meeting because I have a meeting to review project number one tomorrow, but that's at 10. So I think I can move that off to tomorrow morning and just log on early and make sure I like kind of remember what I've done. I'm also gonna have a snack because I got these ube cookies from Trader Joe's and they're so good. They're just like little tea cookies. Look how small that is. Okay, my friend's coming. Yeah, there are definitely a couple ones that I was going through and I was like, well, I definitely missed this one. It is 4.52 now and I just had a review meeting for the work that I did today and I'm all done with that now. So so I guess my, my time with project number two is done. It was like a couple days long of a project, but I was basically just doing a lot of quality checks and making sure that the team did everything correctly. And sometimes you just need another pair of eyes for stuff, you know? Even though it's almost five, I still want to get a couple of things done before the end of the day. So let's just take a look at our to-do list and finish up our day together. Okay, here is what's left. I want to start my annual evaluation. Oh, I do have to expand on this. I'm going to push this to tomorrow. So this is going to be pushed to tomorrow morning because I have my meeting at 10 tomorrow. So I'll just basically spend all of my morning before then re reviewing that. But I can do some admin work for this before as like a last thing. And then that will be the end of the day. In between my meetings, I was just working. So lots of stuff done today. Oh, my annual evaluations. Oh my God. I feel like I'm so like scatterbrained today, but annual evaluations. So my company's fiscal year ends actually at the end of May. So my company just started a whole new fiscal year. At the end of each fiscal year, we get reviewed annually because we work for a corporation. And honestly, no matter where you're working, you don't even have to work for a corporation, but every company has annual reviews. And it's basically just a way for you to reflect on your performance in the last year for the company and professionally and how you've grown and what you've accomplished. Technically, I started in August, but more or less, I just finished my second year working as a consultant. So I have an annual evaluation to do. Basically, I'm just going to reflect on everything that I've worked on project wise and internally in the last year. And then I have a meeting with my performance counselor to go through all of that. So... So yeah, I kind of already started it a little bit, but I just kind of want to put everything together a little bit more and get that done because I want to get that done by Friday. So that's a little bit about annual evals. 
for those of you who might be doing your annual evals around the same time as me right now, I just want to remind you guys that you've accomplished so much in the last year and don't focus on any mistakes that you think that you've made. It's good to reflect on them and learn from them, but don't let that diminish everything that you've learned in every way that you've grown and how you've become a better professional because I think it's easy to not give ourselves enough credit for what we've done. So I'm here to remind you guys how hard you've been working and it's totally okay to recognize that in your annual evals. Okay, rant over, I need to finish work. Let's go finish up our day together. That's why I'm saying goodbye. Hopping out my feelings, get to the money. Gotta keep it a hundred. Leaving you ain't really took nothing from me. So don't come looking for me. I'm that bitch and I have it. You forgot, but I have it. You was just a no habit. So I'ma disappear like magic. I'm that bitch and I have it. You forgot, but I have it. Now you wish that you had it. But all I gotta say back is if I gotta choose me, I won't be afraid to. Okay, guys, it is 5.45 now. I put in my time and I even made my bed, finally. Doing laundry or just literally washing anything is like an all day thing. So it really is a good perk of working from home to do this during the work day. This is what our complete day looks like. We finished all of our admin work, which you guys know what that means now. I did some stuff for fun committee to prepare for the happy hour. I did some EE stuff, and then I got a bunch of project work done. So I have more to review tomorrow, but that's it. I guess that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me today on my work from home day. I feel like, okay, this was my first day back from PTO and to be honest, this day felt really long. I got a lot done and I feel really good about it, but I'm glad the day's over as I am every single day. <laughs> Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in my next video, but until then, I miss you already.